technology full of life. So it's going to be great. And managed to get a couple of hours sleep, but we're still suffering, so something to wake us all up. Whoa! First taste of a bit of Japanese food. Just can't go wrong. Chapstick time. Talk about a good way to start the trip to Tokyo. What do you think? Yeah, well, I mean, I good views. Just to talk views. about where we went up. Damn. That was where we went up. Beautiful views. Now we know exactly where we are all the time in Tokyo, don't we? Yeah. We've memorised it, and we're now we're good to go. Happy days. We've just found our first cherry blossom tree, haven't we? Yeah, it's going to be cherry blossom season. I think like at the end of the month, beginning of April. Is that? The Mario Brothers. Yes. What are they doing there? V yeah. interesting. I think what we noticed from the viewpoint was that there are like no old buildings. I think it's high rise and modern and everything like that. So that's why we're going to go see some old temple now. I mean, the Senso G Temple. Senso G Temple. That's an old building. Yeah, I'm going to get a bit of culture. Big culture. The place just keeps getting bigger. Massive street all down here. Huge temple all up here. And it goes on further through as well. Oh, stumbled across this little place. All in the itinerary. My the itinerary only thing is, is I feel like we need a tour guide because there's so much stuff going on. And I feel like we're missing a trip here. Just can't win then. No. So Tally finds a stand with the biggest queue in all of Tokyo. And we wait in it for some random thing. No idea what, what it, is, it was. It just everyone, had the biggest queue. And everyone in the queue is Japanese. So I'm like, if it's good enough for the locals, it's good enough for us. Mm. Needless to say, that went down. A treat. Now yeah. the last bite. Yeah. Mm. Such mm. a screen hogger. <laughs> There's an area where you basically put Put 100 yen in there, take a wish, shake this tub, get a stick out, get your matching number, and then, uh, oh, that was quick, it took me hours. That's my number. Make sure it's not upside down. Nice. Just deciphering codes, really. Hey, but we don't know what it what means. What they mean. <laughs> when you draw a good fortune, please take it home, but you should not be careless or arrogant. Don't be careless or arrogant. <laughs> right, we just made the Shibuya crossing. Got down here, took about 40 minutes to get here, but this place is manic. Dodgy little alleyway behind us, Shinshu. That, that's exactly Limit. perfect, perfect yeah. pronunciation. Uh, there was restaurants in there that you can only fit four people in, like a little cubby hole with four people where they're serving food. Crazy. We've got to, do it. We've got to try and do it at some point, we'll but we're too hungry there. to wait for a, a table to be free. <laughs> so we took a little uh, trip down to see exactly where the cherry blossom river is. When we got here, it's not quite cherry blossom season. Whoopsie. So after being here for two hours or three <laughs> hours, we just realised that this is the Kill Bill restaurant, basically where they had a massive fight scene in Kill Bill. But well, it's this replicated somewhere, but yeah. Cool. Trying to get away from it now. It's such 
pouring down. Oh. Right, it's pouring down still. Literally pouring. Good thing is that there's no one around, is there? No, we're the only tourists mad enough to come here. It's only a bit of rain, love. It's only a bit of rain. Rain hasn't killed anyone before, has it? So we came to our final stop of the day, which is the Imperial Palace. Somewhere up there, or there. Get here, and it's shut. I don't know whether it's open all the time or not, but this is as far as we got today. Looks pretty cool though. Awesome view from here as well, check this out. time I did not have a quick nap because I can handle the jet lag. Tally on the other hand was just all over the place so we had to go back to the room to help her out. Someone's lying. Okay. Where are we going? Sushi Zanmai Honjin. Is that good pronunciation? Yeah it's great. Go on mate, pick that up. You try and pick up rice and chopsticks. It's really on. hard. I've got the salmon in Oh no. <laughs> As always, Tally's found us a fish in a bag. <laughs> What's in them? I think it's like a sweet pastry. I think you've got custard in yours. Mm. And I've got bean jam. <laughs> bean jam. Right, this is what Tokyo is all about. Crazy lights, super busy, and some crazy Japanese music, music blasting out. Mm. Tonight's surprise is we're doing a bit of karaoke. Yay! Come on! <laughs> I am a king of karaoke. On I tell. He yeah. Loves karaoke. The most important thing you can ever have in life is a karaoke song. One song that you know absolutely you can bomb at karaoke, and I've got it. Go! Woo! Always believe in your soul. Song. We love you! I'm your biggest fan! Let's do Beyonce as the first. Ice, ice, baby. Ah, oh, thank you! Blah, blah, blah. I'll be right now to the air, to the go, no, no. Thank God I had Tally here because we're on a Mount Fuji tour and uh, they we thought they lost their reservation but they just messed up and I was gonna lose my. <laughs> I'm the yang yang. Thank I God Tally was here to keep you calm, otherwise I would have fucking nutted someone. <laughs> It's Friday and I feel like I've gone skiing. Day trip to Mount Fuji, two hours drive from Tokyo, it is snow everywhere and it is freezing. Bit of a bugbear, I have to say that when we got to the bus station to pick our tickets up, the next thing you know they said they'd lost our tickets or hadn't got it and I booked it ages ago because I'm organised and I've got an itinerary. However, managed to blag our way in, found the tickets finally and it's well worth it. Okay, so extra part of our trip, the, tri the tour that keeps on giving, isn't it? It's a bit windy, it's beautiful here. First off, started off in uh, Mount Fuji, yeah. went straight up there. Then we came and got another hour coach ride to Hakone, Hakone which is what took us to the middle of a lake in the middle of the uh, mountains. And now, look, we turn into pirates overnight, <laughs> Japanese pirates.
Okay, so after our boat trip, we ended up getting on a cable car that takes us to the top of this mountain. And it is epic. The views are unreal, especially of Mount Fuji. Getting to the bottom of Mount Fuji, we thought, what a, what a bit of a cop out. We got yeah, to the mountain got and got to some dodgy car park and got no pictures, but now, now we know why. Check this out. finished with our trip up the mountain on the cable car, came back down and grabbed it on the bus. But now the uh, pièce de résistance. We're gonna grab the bullet train back from here to get to, to back to Tokyo for dinner tonight. First experience on a bullet train. Taking one off the bucket list today, aren't we, mate? I know, very banging meal, bit of chicken katsu curry. One thing we would say when we're in a tube and to listen out for is these banging tunes they put on when they close the doors on the tube track. Tune, love that. They change every time, can't get tired of them. Love it. One thing I think that definitely does need discussing about Japan is a pretty serious element to be honest. Something that I've been struggling and had several fights with for the past three days or so. No, it's not her. <laughs> it's this. Dun, 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 dun. This is by far the most technological toilet I've ever seen in my life. I'm so scared of this thing that it literally frightens me every night, every morning, every day because of what this thing can achieve. It has several different settings. Flush, heated seats, rear, front. Most importantly, it cleans your wand. This thing has the capabilities of not only giving you the cleanest <coughs> in the world, it also has the ability to go into space. Who would have thought it? The toilet from the future. We're also staying at the yeah, Marriott Courtyard Hotel in Tokyo in the Ginza area, which is lovely. The bed, spectacular quality, however, just an inch, inch too short. And for me to say that, that's saying something. Your legs are coming off the end. My legs are coming off the end? Tally's absolutely fine. No, but my, my legs. Nah, mate, nah, I'm nah, no, mate, no, 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 yeah, sorry, no, mate. I'm your feet are, no, no, sorry. Your feet aren't coming off the end, mate, no, nah, no. Nah. Starting the day strong. So organised here. Asked for a cab at the hotel. Checked out. Said we're going for breakfast. Came back from breakfast. Our bags were in the cab and the cab was waiting for us. We checked out in about two seconds and then we were already at the station. It is just unreal the organisation here and I'm loving it. Now heading off to Kyoto. We're now on the platform. Thank God for that. It was not a kid there, but we're thankful we got it. The good thing is, is that I think the secret to this whole thing is just being early. The trains will get here early as well, so you haven't got anything to worry about. We're actually a train early than we're supposed to be. Got to the platform 20 minutes earlier than when it actually arrived, but they still let you on, so you've got no issues. Actually got pretty lost in the station, and it was so busy that we were pretty overwhelmed, but when you've got enough time, it keeps you calm, so. And oh, that's a snack. Tally's got snacks. What'd you get us? Don't know what they are, oh. they've got chocolate on them. No, <laughs> more. I wanted to get, they had like more Western stuff, I really wanted to get things. Right, it's 7.52 and already there is a queue in an orderly line to get onto our carriage. Try and only left about 
one minute before this happens. It's just crazy. I feel like I'm getting on a roller coaster. <laughs>